www.ocean6.com. Uh, it's a 355 page report that deep, deep dives down into uh, most, our most critical defense supply chains and looks for vulnerabilities to foreign exploitation, but also natural disasters and uh, dumping and other uh, economic practices that our industry at large, but our defense industry specifically, are subject to. And so the, the, the observation, or one of the conclusions that we came up with is, we, the United States, need to make sure that our defense industrial base supply chains, especially our most critical ones, are under our control and not subject to the control of our strategic competitors. It makes no sense to allow our strategic competitors to control the defense supply chains for Hell fire missile propellant, for example, or for the advanced magnets that make a smart bomb go to its target. And that, but that's exactly what we've done. So we, we, we did this deep dive into the supply chains, and we applied a risk management process to which ones are the most critical. Uh, and we say, based on our risk assessment, it either makes sense or doesn't. And I mean, just to draw, draw another uh, comparison, because I wanted to bring this back to energy security for just a second. For example, it makes a great it makes great sense to get truck handles from China. We don't mind that. That's good efficient production of, and and uh, goods and services. But it makes no sense to get uh, our the lanthanum for our night vision devices. Ninety percent of that comes from China. But let's bring this back to energy security. We have to have energy uh, to power our economy, which I would argue is the bedrock of our national security in the first place. Uh, and, and if we're, if our economy is not strong, robust, and it's not growing, we are not going to exercise not only world leadership, we're not going to exercise prosperity for our people, which is the most important thing. So we've got to have energy for our economy. We need to make sure that we've got the ability to control the sources of our energy because we don't want our energy supply to be hostage to strategic competitors or to volatile nations. You know, you know, it's, it, yes, primarily the Middle East, but I mean, we just look south to a couple of uh, countries in, the, in Latin America, and we can think where we get a lot of energy from Venezuela, too. So we really need to think about that. How does that specifically relate to the armed forces? Well, the armed forces, writ large, is a relatively small percentage of energy use in the, in, in the United States, relatively. We're, we're talking on the order of less than 10%. Nevertheless, our armed forces are necessary to provide security for the country. We don't want our armed forces and their operational capabilities and that depend upon the use of energy to be hostage to our competitors. So that's, that's the specific conclusion, not only for our report about defense supply chains, but also as we apply that to this other supply chain energy that we get from other countries.